The national anthem of the People's Republic of China is called March of the Fallen Tears. Now, because it is the national anthem of present-day China, which is controlled by the Chinese regime, it is very normal for people like myself, a Hong Konger, to dislike the song March of the Fallen Tears. However, as much as I dislike it, I must say the song has nothing to do with the Chinese regime or communism in general. March of the Fallen Tears, it was originally written as a military song back in World War II when Japan invaded China. <laughs> It was written to remind the Chinese people to stand up against the Japanese. This was way before the People's Republic of China was established. Now that it is the national anthem of the People's Republic of China, I find it to be very ironic. So let's talk about that. The irony of the March of the Fallen Tears, the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Arise to those who refuse to be slaves. When Chinese citizens sing this part, I just want to tell them, you have been slaves your entire lives. Ever since you were born, you have been slaves of the Chinese regime. If you truly refuse to be slaves, arise and stand up against the Chinese regime. With our flesh and blood, let us build our new great wall. Yes, you do need a new great wall to keep all the commies out. The new great wall would be a China without the Chinese regime. So where is the new great wall? Maybe you need Trump's help. Build that wall. Build the wall. We have no choice. We have no choice. The Chinese nation faces its greatest danger. Do you know what is the greatest danger of the Chinese nation? CCP, Xi Jinping, definitely the greatest danger, not just for the Chinese nation, but everybody globally. The Chinese people has yet to rise up during these past 73 years. Oh wait, I take that back. 1989, Chinese students did step out to protest to fight for democracy at Tiananmen Square. Unfortunately, it ended up being a tragedy and the Chinese government tried to erase the entire day inside China. But nobody will ever forget June 4th, 1989, the Tiananmen Square massacre. But other than that, they have yet to rise up to brave the enemy's fire because they fear the enemy's fire. Their enemy is the Chinese regime. I really hope one day when Chinese citizens sing the Chinese national anthem, they would be able to do more than just singing it. Honor its meaning by refusing to be slaves of the Chinese regime. With their flesh and blood, they should drive the Chinese regime out of China and then build a new great wall in order to prevent them from entering. The Chinese nation's greatest danger is the Chinese regime. With their million hearts in one, they should march forward into the enemy's fire. There will be sacrifices, but this fight is for the future. Not just for China, but for the world as well. All of us are living in fear because of the Chinese regime. We have been bowing down for way too long. It is time for all of us to march on especially the Chinese people. As I mentioned before, 
I think the Chinese people should be the ones to take down the Chinese regime. It only seems right because China is their country, so it should be their duty to make it a better place in the future. Either they are allowing fear to prevent them from marching on, or they have been brainwashed. 一定要起来，不要再做奴隶的人们，不要再做共产党奴隶的人们。妈逼，我连死都不怕。我怕你共产党吗？我怕你共产党吗 ？Well, that's all I have to say. I pray to God that the Chinese regime will collapse. Thanks for watching. 帮我剪烧台。